Since the start of Season 2, I've done a lot of hell tides to farm the material for Uberdurial. And in the process, I decided to start recording the Cinder data, and now I can tell you the best events to do and which events to avoid. Before we get into the details of each of the individual events, I just want to share a way to keep this simple even though it may not be the most optimal strategy, but I know that keeping track of each event in a Helltide one by one is a lot of information to remember. But to keep it simple, all you have to do is remember just one rule. When going from event to event, stick to the events that remain in an open area and avoid the ones that have terrain. If you do that, you'll have a higher cinders per minute rate than trying to do every event. No problem. Now, onto the data. The S, A, and B tiers are the ones that I would recommend sticking to, and C is just okay. And the one in F tier, that F is for forget about it. Starting with the S tier, the Wayward Soul event is the one where you follow around the ghost. It's the best one all around. Lots of cinders at 50 cinders a minute. You can't go wrong. Wave of Darkness is one that's also really good. You can actually get over 100 cinders in a single event. It starts off slow, but it picks up once you get to around 5 or 6 waves. Now on to the A tier. Rites of Ascension is surprisingly good even though you're running around the dome to kill the goatmen that shield the main mob. 40 cinders a minute is not bad. Jar of Souls is good, but doing it with others can hurt you a little bit. When you're doing this one, try to keep the jar open for the whole duration because the density is really good. That means not collecting the 30 souls until the end of the timer. If you collect too early, then the mobs will stop spawning early. Insatiable Hunger is where you prevent the demon in the middle from taking the sacrifices. It's good cinders, no other tips for this one other than clear as fast as you can. Webbed Hatchery requires that you open each of the cocoons, each of the cocoons, each of the cocoons. Webbed Hatchery requires that you open each of the cocoons to free the villagers and the mobs that come at you. Pretty easy. Much easier than saying that sentence. On to the B tier. Death Knell is quite a rare event that only spawns when you're in a sea or beach area. Just clear the bells. Ancient Siphon. This is an interesting event that is really hit or miss. And whether it hits or misses depends on the zone you get this in. If you're in a zone where the event starts spawning the bees, then just leave immediately. They don't drop any cinders. Other mob types are okay. You can look at the difference here. And this explains the really low cinders minimum per event and the cinders maximum per event. It's a huge difference. Portal Invasion is an event that spawns a Helltide Commander. And the Helltide Commander, unfortunately, also eats up a lot of time. But the cinders are still good. Contrary to the simple rule that I said in the beginning of this video, Raised Effigies is an event that is an area with terrain. And the amount of cinders that you get is pretty alright. Ancient's Obelisk is the obelisk where you stand on the plate to fill the meter. Pretty good if you can stand still and clear from a distance. Hold the Wicked is an event that's in an area with terrain that ranges from bad to okay, depending on how fast you can move. On to the C tier. Now we're getting to the events that we can start skipping, and Caravan Under Siege might be one of those. It just doesn't spawn a lot of mobs. Wounded Druid is an event where you guide the spirits to the druid. Whether you get a lot of cinders on this event depends on how well you can clear and move at the same time. Hold Your Ground is an event where you defend the wanderer in an area that has terrain. Unfortunately, the waves are pretty slow. Those Who Call the Storm is an event that spawns a Helltide Commander. And like the other event with the Helltide Commander, Killing the Helltide Commander eats up a lot of time, and that eats into the cinders per minute rate as well. Defiled Ground is actually the quickest event out of all the events, but because it's quick, doesn't mean that it gets you cinders. And on to the F tier, Liberation. Aya. Just avoid this event at all costs. A lot of running around, and not a lot of cinders. And that's the list. As far as how the simple rule applies, where you avoid events that are in terrain, they're the events that are towards the bottom of the list. However, if you know what to look for, then you don't have to follow that simple rule, and you can follow the tier list as is.